Okay, so really easy way to make a constraint graph is like this. So you have a set of variables here, which are A, B, C, D, and E, and they have the domains 1, 2, 3, and 4. So let's say A, B, C, and D are the names of people and the uh, one two three and four are the timings that they have in their schedule and the constraints are that b should not be equals to three c should not be equals to two a should be equals to d a equals a is not equals to b b doesn't equal c b doesn't equals d c is less than D and E is less than A. Also, E is less than B. So, how do you make a constraint graph here? So, what you're simply going to do is you're going to write down the variables and make notes from them. So, you got A here, B, and C, and you also have D and E here. And these are basically all going to be nodes. So you're going to make vertices out of this and now you're just going to connect them using the constraints. So the first one is B not, not equals to 3. Now you're not going to connect this with uh, other nodes because this is basically a self constraint so B can't be 3. So you're just going to make a simple small loop here and just write down not equals to 3. Now the next one is C not equals to 2. So same thing. You're just going to make another self loop. And this will be not equals to 2. Now here it's A equals to D. So you're simply just going to connect these two nodes. So A and D. You're just going to make a straight line out of this. Now for the next one is A not equals B. So you're just going to add a straight line here but also you're just gonna add a small line in between them because a does not equals b basically okay okay so b not equals c same thing you're just gonna add a line and you're gonna add a small line in between them as well so same thing for this one b not equals d so these two nodes add another line here now here C not equals D. So you're just gonna use the same thing for both the equalities as well as inequalities ones. So C and D you're just gonna connect these two. So C is here and D here. So you're just gonna connect them. And you don't need to any you don't need to like add any lines or anything between them. They're just gonna be the same as when you use it for the equals equal to signs. Now E less than A. You're just gonna add a line here. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go through this here. E and A, E and A, okay. So E and B will be here. E and V. Okay, I'm just gonna add a line in between this thing. Okay, so that's that's pretty much it. That's how you draw a constraint graph.